Hey guys, thank you for checking out our video today. My name's Sean Elders and this is Pinnacle Combat Arts. Like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell so you can be notified every time we get a new video. Today we're going to be working on Stick and Dagger and the four count and follow-ups. Let's get started. First thing you're going to learn is what they call the four count, the basic four count. This is to learn how to, to wield two weapons of two separate links and how to make sense of it all, okay? It could be stick and dagger, it could be sword and dagger, it could be just one thing that's longer and another one shorter. You know, there's a million different things it could represent, okay, in a violent altercation. You just want to be able to pick up something and be able to defend yourself or defend your family. So that's the idea. Um, what we want to do is, when we do what they, what they call the four count, the four count is to help us learn a pattern and learn how to will the web these two different separate weapons in a way that makes sense and that is effective for combat. The other aspect is, is that you need to think about is you also think of the four count as a follow-up. Okay, in other words, if I am in a combat situation and I do something to stun them, you know, take them off their natural state, destroy a hand, and then the follow-up is that four count that is effective to be able to follow up and deal with them so that they can become no longer a threat. That's the idea. So the four count is like this. I go into position. I want to put my knife on my hip like this. The other, the other stick could be in this position here. And I want to go one, two, three, and four, just like that. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. When I do that number one, I'm slashing, and then I'm bringing this weapon up into the, up just about the same height as my head, and I thrust, okay? My targeting system could be the neck or the eye or the chest. I thrust and I rip. I bring the knife hand, just the soft part of my hand against my tricep bicep, and when I do this next slash, I want to lateral step like this and maintain my feet maintain my stance i don't want to lateral step and line up together i want to make sure that i have a good stance i lateral step and slash when i slash i don't swipe i slash like it's a, it's an edge weapon i flip and then i thrust to the neck okay so one two three and four i'm in my position one two three and four and then what you do is you get with your partner now what we're doing here is we're doing what they call mirror drilling this is called mirror drilling. And so when we mirror drill, what we're doing is we're developing our timing. We're not developing our line familiarization. We're de developing our distance and range, okay? We're developing our pattern and we're developing our body mechanics, okay? So when our position, we go slash, we thrust just past each other like two fighter pilots passing each other like this. We take a step and we slash. And then we go wrist to wrist, just like that. So we're mirroring each other. We're, this is not a, we're not actually practicing combatives. We're actually practicing what we would do inside of combatives to follow up. Slash, thrust, slash, wrist to wrist. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three and four back and forth okay so that's the first aspect the second aspect to this uh video is is to you're going to now do what they call defang the snake or we're going to be working the lines of attack okay so for that i will grab a padded stick i'm using a padded stick we're using a padded stick because we're going to be hitting the hand that holds the weapon okay so for instance when we're in our fighting position and he gives me a number one i'm Gonna, first of all, I want to get out of the range because right now he can hit me, boom, just like that. I get out of the range. See that the change of just me being in this position, okay, to this position, put out your weapon, okay. I change my range. This is, I'm not even gonna use much footwork for this. I'm just gonna show you guys the basics, okay. All I'm doing is going here. I, I'm gonna just adjust my stance and hit the hand, okay. Now, what's gonna happen because I did that. Okay, I'm gonna slash and slash, thrust, slash, and thrust. See that? So 
So I'm hitting the hand, boom. I'm gonna go to this position, this position, and go right into the four count. So again, I hit the hand, I slap, backhand slash, I go one, two, three, and four. Again, boom. Just like this, see? One, two, three, just like that. He can do it. So I slash at him, boom. Yep, bum, 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 just like that. We just maintain a little bit of distance because we're real, what we're really trying to do is we're really trying to develop the, the, the idea of pressure and we're developing the idea of we gotta follow up. We gotta make sure that we do something good, okay? So it gives me the number one, like that, just like that. He does it, there you go, yep. Just like that. Still have some control, but get some little bit of stealth on it, see? See, I'm not going as fast as I can, but I have my lines, I'm trying to make my lines look good. See this? Okay, I'm trying to get those lines right. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is we're developing our eye hand speed coordination when that number one comes in and I'm backing out of it, I'm trying to hit that hand. That's the first thing I wanna do is hit that hand. As soon as I hit that hand, then I'm able to follow up, okay? Now on this drill, what can happen too, since we're doing a backhand as well, is when he gives me the number one, I hit the first hand, he gives me the thrust. Yep, that, yeah, just do an eight thrust, boom. And then I can follow up. You see that? So again, I hit, I hit, and then I follow up. You see, he does it. So I, I feed him one and two, and then he follows up, bob, bob, bob. See that? And then he feeds me one, two, follow up, just like that. One, two, follow up. One, two, follow up, okay? And that is a basic exercise that you can do with your partner to develop this, okay? That's an idea. You can do this off of every single angle. So I'll give you one more. We have angle number two. So when I'm in my position, he gives me that angle number two. I'm gonna come up behind it. I'm gonna come slash again, slash again, thrust, slash, and thrust. So again, look at that. When he comes in with a number two, I just happen to be on this side. You could start the attack on this side, the backhand position, and then do it. It doesn't matter. But we're gonna keep it on the forehand to keep it simple. One, two, three. There you go. See, and then he does it. So I, I'm gonna give him the two, and he goes, he slashes, one, two, and he goes into it. See that? Again, ah, ba ba. see? Very good. Then we go back, he gives me the attack. Okay, just like that. I give him the attack, boom. He gives me the attack. It's like that, okay? So then what can happen is we can now, he can give me the first attack, which is the backhand attack, and then a thrust behind it. Boom, and then I follow up. You see that? Same thing, he does it to me. I'm gonna feed him now, I mean, he go, boom, and then I go here, and then he does the attack. There it is, see that? Gives it to me. Just like that. I give it to him. Good, he does it to me. So that's how we do it. So now I've given you one and two attacks. You learn the follow-ups, you learn how to go in and start to work on destroying the hand. Hope that, got, I hope that helped, I'll see you guys next time. Go to our website, pinnaclecombatarts.com. There you can find out more about what I do and the classes that I provide. Thank you guys so much for your support and have a great day.